So, so what what would you do as a senior director in computer vision at Magic Leap? What would be your tasks? My task is to make sure everyone is happy. Uh, number one, and it's really important to me. So fundamentally, is 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 my first and foremost task is to ensure that you know my team of research and engineers, researchers and engineers are um, have all they need uh, for doing what they have to do. Um, that they, you know, that they're being heard and that they're being properly represented across the organization. Uh, I drive um, a lot of the, a lot of the, I mean, all of the scientific, you know, technical, technical strategies around computer vision. Uh, so that really computer vision, if, if, I guess if you don't know, it's, is, is really about making an object aware of its surroundings. Of using uh, sensors like cameras, uh, you know, and uh, the key is to to really make the device aware of where it is located in space, right? And also make the device aware of what is around you in space, so all the surfaces and objects and et cetera, et cetera. And these are the fundamental ingredients that are required to be able to augment that space. Uh, if you don't know where the table is, there is no way you're going to be able to put that virtual pet on that table. Um, so the role of my role is really to orchestrate all of the different technical efforts and technical components that have to be solved to really uh, produce a device that is aware of its environment, that is aware of its surroundings and, and aware where it, locate, it is located in the world. Um, all that in real time, all the time, um, in presence of, in potentially in presence of all kinds of clutter in the world. People walking around, uh, real pets walking around, <laughs> <laughs> objects moving, and that is really the core. I mean, one of the core challenges that we are we are addressing here is is, is to make to be world aware. And so I'm managing a large team of individuals and engineers, and very talented engineers, who are solving really core. Algorithm components, algorithmic algorithmic problems in that in that space. You you mentioned that you you work in a team. How does the interaction in the team look like? What are the roles um, in the team? The teams uh, typically break the team into different uh, different areas or different um, yeah different focus areas mm -hmm. uh, with technical leads, uh, sometimes even managers um, and. Uh, and then, then the teams, we try to build the teams so that they have, you know, a fair amount of autonomy so they can operate autonomously to some degree with respect to their internal decision making and the algorithm decisions and reporting and tracking. Um, uh, and then of course there is interactions across teams, across, you know, teams. So each, each team would be typically of size, you know, depending on the scope of the project, from three to ten, maybe, mm -hmm. depending on how you know how big the scope of the the project is. Um, there, so you know, there, there's different formulas, and not one not one formula fits all. Unfortunately, there's certain teams that need to be constantly in communication with other people and other groups in the within the within the organization. Uh, teams that have to do more with cal with calibration sensor. Um, sensor characterization, uh, modeling, etc. So they would typically need to interact a whole lot more with the hardware team, for example. Uh, some of them, or most of them, being in Florida. So there's a lot of cross. The, the different teams would have different different types of um, of work. But you know, it's it's it varies and it changes all the time. You have to constantly reinvent yourself, and you have mm -hmm. to constantly question how you do things. And op open the door for changes and reach out to others and ask them their opinion. What do you think? How do you think we should improve this? You know, uh, I would typically ask the question, do you think we are wasting our time meeting now? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if we are, should we either cancel that meeting or do it make a different use of it? Um, and I, I would do that routinely uh, because, again, that's the, that is the beauty of startups. The beauty of startups is you have free to change things so much more dynamically than in, in large organizations where mm -hmm. a process has been put in place where you have to follow a certain, you know, 
recipe for everything. Uh, in the startup world, you set the recipe, you make it, mm-hmm. and uh, and then if it doesn't work, you change it. 